Hello and welcome to Dr. Rossmas key skill video on using Pythagoras theorem to find the distance between two points. Now I'm presuming in this video that you're already familiar with Pythagoras theorem. Here in this video we're going to apply it to a practical setting. So we want to find the distance between these two points where we're given the coordinates of each of the points. Now let me just draw it extra big. We've got minus 1, 5 here and we've got 3, 8 here and we want to find this distance between them. Now we can form a right angle triangle using this line. So if I do a horizontal line and a vertical line, that forms a right angle triangle. Now let's think what we know about the lengths of this triangle. Can you see that this length here, between this point and this point, is the difference between the x value of this point and the x value of this point. So you can see the x value of this point is minus 1, the x value of this point is 3. So you can imagine like kind of looking along the x-axis, you've got minus 1 here, you've got 3 here along the x-axis, and you can see that that distance is the difference between minus 1 and 3. What's the difference between minus 1 and 3? Well, it's 4. And we can similarly do the same thing with the y values to find this height of the triangle. What's the difference between this y value of 5 and this y value of 8? Well, it's 3. So this distance is 3. And then we can use Pythagoras theorem to find out this side here. So let's call it d for distance. Now, Pythagoras, remember, if you have three sides of A, B and C, where A and B are the sh two shorter lengths, either way around, and C is the hypotenuse, then A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. That's Pythagoras theorem, which we previously saw in other videos. So let's substitute our lengths into Pythagoras theorem. Well, let's call that A and that B, and that's your C. So we've got A squared, which is four squared, plus B squared, which is three squared, is equal to d squared, the hypotenuse squared. 4 squared plus 3 squared is 16 plus 9, and 16 plus 9 is 25. And then d is being squared to give 25. To get rid of that squared, we square root both sides. Square rooting both sides gets rid of the squared, leaving just d, and the square root of 25 is 5. So therefore, the distance between these two points is 5. Now, more generally, we can use a formula to do exactly what we just did. And basically, the distance between two points when you've got the coordinates is the square root of the change in x squared. That triangle symbol there is the Greek letter delta. That just means change in. So it's a change in x squared plus the change in y squared. So that's the key formula that you can just memorise. So if I have two other coordinates, let's just say I have, I don't know, 4, 5, and I have, uh, say, 6, 0, then the distance between them would be the square root of the change in x squared. Well, the change in x is 2. We can see from 4 to 6, that's a difference of 2. So it's 2 squared plus. And what's the difference between 5 and 0? Well, it's going down by 5. But to be honest, because it's being squared, we don't care whether we use negative 5 or positive 5. It's just 5 squared. And then if you put that on your calculator, that will give you the square root of 4 plus 25, which is 29. So therefore, the distance is root 29.